Isn't she pretty? Good afternoon, everybody. We're uh, on a fertilizer spreading video today. Just come out to the field here now. Um, we're away from the home farm, keep some cattle up here. Um, and uh, we've got some odds and ends fertilizer sort of in the way in the store, so we thought we'd um, put it somewhere where it would do some good. So we're up in the field here now, just, uh, just pulled in. A uh, bit of a gloomy day, hopefully it will dry out tomorrow to cut some silage, it's quite a strong wind. But, um, yeah, I'll show you around the tractor and spreader. Here is our John Deere 155R and Coverland Exacta TL Flow Geo Spread. The, uh, the hopper can come off actually, it's not actually raining now. A very nice spreader. All new to me because um, never used one this fancy before in my life. But uh, that's what it looks like. Got a headland disc for the outside round. It'll hold four bags, but three is comfortable really. And uh, yeah, I'll show you the inside. So uh, it's all run through Isobus the John Deere monitor here on the end of the armrest on the command arm. Um, so this is the, the page that I use when I'm spreading. So we've got the, the weight there. So there's two bags in the spreader at the moment. Uh, you set the rate up here. So we're actually going to be spreading at 250 kilos per hectare. Uh, the little letter here is your spread spread setting. I need to change that one in a minute, but I need to look on the Coverlink app. Um, to know what letter I need for what I'm spreading. We're spreading some Universal 16, 16, 16. Um, yeah, just to use it up really, get it out of the store and this is the best place to put it. And um, this tractor's got the Starfire and Auto Steer. So uh, what we'll do is we'll click on here to find our field. We're in Brimley, say accept. It'll bleep at me for a while. So yes, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the Green Star menu, Mapping, Boundaries. I'm going to set it for an exterior headland, a constant offset. Uh, and because we're on a 24 meter spreader, we're going to set a 12 meter constant offset. Um, just so I know on the outside round where to drive and then we'll set an AB line up the middle and, uh, and go from there. So uh, get it on there, 16, 16, 16. That will uh, relay back to the, the John Deere link. So I'll be able to see what I've done later on. Uh, yeah, I'll just set it up now. Right, so I've been on the app and told it what I'm gonna spread, how wide I'm gonna spread it and how fast I'm gonna drive. And it's uh, told me that I need to put the letter O in that box. So I've done that. Put the rate that we're gonna spread out in there so that's all happy. The, uh, the next thing we're going to do is go back to the main menu. Uh, applications, control setup, for the joystick, and this trigger here, oh it's already set up. So this trigger uh, for my third spool is what my headland disc is set on. So we'll go back to the spreader screen and I'll let the headland disc down you'll see it will appear there flashing on the screen. So that's ready to do the outside round. So um, we're pretty well ready to start. What we're gonna do is put the rear power shaft in thousand speed, turn him on, and then I'm gonna press this uh, preset button. So this, uh, then I can put my revs flat out and it will be set to 950 disc speed on the spreader. So that's ready. Um, I think we are all ready to go. That's ready to go. The other thing we do before we start is we write down the date. Um, that's a bloody date. 27. 7.20. Uh, the time in is 12.35. The hours on the tractor when we started, so 18. Um, our field application is 16, 16, 16. Target rate of 250 kilos per hectare. 
put my name in the operator box. Operation is fertilizer. And we're in the 6155R. So we do that um, for our records back at the farm. Put the folder back down there. We pen away. Jobs are good. Right, so we've done the outside rounds. See, there's a little bit in the corner there that I haven't got. But um, we set an AB line on the road hedge as we went down. So that's all lined up, ready to go for our first swipe. The um, machine is set up with a section control. So if I overlap, which I will be slightly uh, here down this um, first first edge, um, it will shut two or three sections off on the right there, uh, which is quite good. And just to show you, it records as we go in. So we've spread 386 kilos on the headland, um, which is 1.6 hectares around the outside. And then it's also got how many hectares of worth of fertilizer we've got left in the spreader. So uh, we've got 800 kilos, 875 kilos left in there. So now what we need to do is pull the headland disc up. And that flashing disc will disappear in a minute. It's a slow old job coming up. Right, so he's up out of the way. So now we'll put the spreader back in gear, flat out again. We will start inching forward, press out auto, resume button, press start on the spreader. And then as we get into work, you'll see the sections opening up when they go green. And there's one there that's turned off because we are overlapping slightly um, on this AD line. So when we come back the other way, oh, they're all open there now. Look. So uh, yeah, so this is a field called Brimley. It won't take us very long in here. And we're going to come to the end of this row. And then I'm actually going to press stop on the screen there when we've overlapped. I'm going to turn, so it's going to tell me I've turned. I'm going to go down to our next line, get roughly in line with it, press auto, it will grab it. And then when we're square and we're not overlapping the headland still, we'll press start on our screen, which we've done. And then you'll see the sections will open up as they go into work. Splendid. So this tractor is equipped with the command arm on John Deere's tractors. Um, we've got the joystick for the spools. Um, I can also change the gears on there as well, which is quite handy. It's very good for the mowers, front and back mowers we have. Um, we've got the direct drive gearbox, which a lot of people don't like. I actually really like it. Um, not that I've driven any other John Deere to know what the others are like. But uh, I really like this gearbox. It's very easy. You can just shove it in auto on the road and flat out, off you go. Um, yeah, we've got the auto. Button for the auto steer, we've got um, the iTech for setting things on headland management, so one, two, three, and four. I have the mower set up to drop in and out on one and two for when we're mowing, which hopefully you'll get to see a bit of soon. I can record a bit of that tomorrow. Um, and then we have the hitch and the three spools to the rear of the tractor here, um, and then the front spool is linked into this one, but it can be changed to whatever we want. So back into work we go. The reason I stop the machine, I, I don't actually have to stop the machine on the headland, but the reason I do is uh, because I'm quite lazy and I only ever go around the outside of the field once. Um, and so what I don't want it doing when I turn on the ends is for the machine to go outside of the boundary and spread into the hedge, um, which it shouldn't do, but sometimes it does. Uh, so that's what I do, I just press stop when I come to the end of my work, uh, I spin it round, grab my auto steer line and um, press start again and it will uh, go in and out of work as it needs to with the sections. So you can see there that the left hand two sections are turned off because we're currently overlapping. We might miss a tiny bit of oh, that triangle there, we might have to come back and get another slither, but uh, that's all good. Travelling at uh, nine and a half k, nice and steady. Don't need to break a leg. So uh, I'll show you here. So we come to the end of the row, and I don't want that overlapping. So once we've finished spreading, which we have, I press stop on my machine on here, and uh, we're going to have to go back and get a little bit. 
might argue that it's barely worth doing, but we're going to do it anyway. Where are you? So we won't bother putting the auto steer on for this bit, we'll just drive right down the middle, we'll press start. And then as we go over this tiny bit, one of the sections will come on, there it goes. And it's off again. And then there's another bit further on up to do. Um, and then when we get up there, we'll probably grab the line to it, so it spreads evenly. So uh, I don't want it to overspread the boundary, so we'll head towards the middle. And then we'll grab our line. The tractor will do a bit of steering. There he is, look, filling himself in. I'm going to have to come back the other way again. Like now. See, we're dropping fairly quickly. Spread 750 kilos now. Beauty of one section being open. Get the tiny little sliver that I missed. Because I had to turn on the headland. Uh, the outside round had a bit of a kink in the hedge. There's a tiny bit that it missed because I set my AB line on that hedge. So uh, let it gather all that up. Press stop. There we are. And, uh, and we are done for this field, so we'll let the revs off. Turn off the power shaft. We'll just drive on these wheel marks so we're not um, driving across the whole field. I'm going to upset John. Now, just to see how accurate we are. Somewhere I have a list in my pocket. So, Grimley. This field is 3.2 hectares according to my spreading chart at the farm. And we should have spread 800 kilos. And what we've actually spread is 777 kilos on 3.1 hectares. Uh, the reason for that will just be. Um, oh, you can't see it very well on there. The, the corners that you don't quite get all the way into. Um, allow for that so quite happy with that so what I'm going to do now is write that down on my folder and move on to the next field. Right beside the dual carriageway here do a bit of racing don't think I'll win. Now what should happen when I pick my next field or oh, is that it should send the file to the, ah here we go one wireless data transfer file going out. So if we click on that, it'll say it's exporting, which is ideal. Successfully sent out. Spot on. So we'll go back in here. If anyone knows how to make this save, let me know, because I've got to do this for every field every time I go into one. And I don't know why the preset is 48 meters. It's a 48 meter headland. Home. Right, so we're set, we're on the same fertiliser, the same rate, so we'll uh, do the headland and away we go. Right, so we're just going over the dual carriageway and heading back for lunch. Have a quick bit of dinner and then we will load up with a slightly different fertiliser and head back on up here to spread some other ground. Clear left, clear right. Back to the map we go. Bit of a roadblock on the way home. There's currently a hen pheasant and several chicks in front of me. All but one of the chicks has now moved. Ah, just the hen bird left in the road. Get out of the way, go on. Right. Eventually did the intelligent thing and jumped in the hedge. Good on you, pheasant. Now that is definitely in the way. So, I need to get my sortie out. I can't get out the door. Up nearer than gents. Hmm. It's going to require a bit more persuasion.
Stupid tree, now my carpet's all dirty. Right. It's a bit noisy, so you have to bear with me. But I cannot find this type of fertilizer on the Coverland database. So, we're going to do a shake test and find the next closest thing. So we're going to fill it up to the top. Do a little shake. Get it all happy. So it is reading 0, 20, 60, 10. So what we'll do is we'll go put that in the app, see what it says. Any of the outside of this field, um, you can't really see it very well on the camera, but the whole field slopes away down into that valley, and well, every corner really. And um, just wanted to make sure I was concentrating around the outside because it's uh, there's not a lot of grass here because the cattle just grazed it and a little bit greasy on top because of the bit of rain we've had today. Not a lot to grip to. So uh, you can see a bit better there, it falls away. It doesn't look very steep on the camera. And uh, you can soon slide into the hedge. The next field's similar, we're going next door in a minute. But uh, yeah, so we're back on our guidance now. Got a fairly heavy load in the spreader as well, so the front end's a little bit light, but not worth putting a weight on for, for what we're doing. But we'll uh, come to the end of this row a minute. Tractor's ticking over nicely. That's our warning bleep to say, are we awake? Yes, we are. That's it telling me that it's upset because I've started steering. And then it should grab that line now, which it will. In a minute will fire up. There she goes. In the next field, that guy should not be there. But uh, I'm going to struggle to get him back on my own, so what we'll do is shut the gate. It's a bit windy up here. Gate's only there to let him back in, but not going to manage that on my own. So we'll leave him there for a minute, and when help arrives, he shall go back. Don't worry, lads. Cab has been reunited. The day has been saved. Back to spreading fur. So that is us finished spreading up here for the day. We're going to go back now and uh, wash the spreader out, wash him off, and uh, take him off ready to put the mowers on to go mowing tomorrow.